Hi, I'm Kostas Danielidis, and I will speak about visual navigation. When I ask my children which technology really fascinates them, they say the GPS. However, animals like bees and migratory birds can find their way home after miles of flying without GPS. It sounds magic, but they can do it. So we decided to make robots replicate this magic as well. Remember the fairy tale of Hansel and Gretel? They did not use GPS or step counting from any activity tracker. They used breadcrumbs. For path integration, robots will use visual breadcrumbs, image features that can be tracked and are consistent with the three-dimensional geometry of the environment. But are visual breadcrumbs sufficient to find our way home? No. And here comes landmark recognition. Landmarks can be as simple as the sun for the insects, the mountain skyline for squirrels, or a Starbucks shop for a human. We call this semantic localization. And today, we are able to deploy it on robots and mobile phones because we have successful machine learning and object recognition algorithms. Can only robots use such algorithms? No. Humans with visual impairment can use a phone with a camera that tells them directions in a crowded train station or a conference venue. Remember, robots and blind people with smartphones can now navigate with visual breadcrumbs and visual landmarks. Thank you.